welcome to Significant TV, Significant Stories, Significant Entrepreneurs. And today, that's in plural. That's right. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and joining me in the studio are Mark and Rashira Johnson of Prime, I'm sorry, M3 Prime Productions. Welcome to Significant TV. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for having us. Yes, it's a okay. pleasure. Well, M3 Prime Productions, I'm going to ask you a significant statement, I'm sure, is behind that. What's the story? Uh, my three children, Micaiah, Mark, and Melanie. Um, oh, that's wonderful. for, and we figured Prime because Prime is a high number, so we said our company should be high, so we did the M3 Prime Productions. Wow. Mm -hmm. And Mark, from your perspective, productions, you're an actor. Yeah. And, and <laughs> what does productions mean here in your company? Um, really opening up the door for other uh, people, other actors, mm -hmm. actress, mm -hmm. to be able to have the opportunity to grace the TV just as the other actors that we see today, you know, like your Will Smiths, your mm -hmm. Ali Berry, Sandra Bullocks, Robert De Niro's. We want actors to come out and be able to express their talent that way and know that they have equal opportunity with us. Mm -hmm. yes. Equal opportunity, that's significant. Well, M3 Prime Productions, has a great story individually and collectively. Mark, how did you get to this point? What was that significant moment that sort of said to you, I'm going to be an entrepreneur? Um, well, I've always been acting all my life. So okay. uh, since a child, I was always acting. Oh. And uh, kind of straight away went to sports and, you know, uh, middle school, high school, and college. And then afterwards, uh, I said, you know what? I want to give acting a shot again. And it took off. But through my journey, I've been in the business for nine years now. Mm -hmm. You know, so through my journey, I was managed by a management company in Jersey. And um, I got tired of waiting by the phone. Ah, uh, so yeah, you audition difficult. at times, you don't audition at times, sometimes it's slow. And it was like, in these slow moments, what can I do to expand, to continue to grow, other than take classes? And uh, me and my wife were starting to think about like a company, like what if we did our own thing? And instead of continuing to think about it, I said, let's act on it. Mm -hmm. Let's, I love it. Let's do Actors it. acting on it. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, and then action has acted in it. Mm -hmm. So there, there's something there. Yeah. Okay. So we acted Gordon. on it, and mm -hmm. um, I've, I consulted with my uh, managers because they, they are business partners with me as well. Mm -hmm. And um, they didn't agree with what I wanted to do with taking my own entrepreneur steps and mm -hmm. opening my own company mm -hmm. with my wife. and. Uh, through that phone conversation, we parted ways. Okay, mm -hmm. I love it, and, and that's said, an action. Thank you. That's a right. decision. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, well, thank you, and I stood firm on what I believed in, what we had in front of us, and mm -hmm. I said, well, if if it's a mistake, then that's what it will be, but right now, I feel like this is the right thing to do, and I'm gonna lead by faith, and I'm gonna make the right decision, and that's what I did. No better way to build it with, with my wife. Absolutely, oh, okay. Pleasure. So, a black power couple. Um, tell me your perspective, Rashira. Well, in honestly, terms of that <laughs> I got into it through a dream, okay? okay. Um, I had a dream about something I wanted to write. And um, afterwards, I woke up and told my husband. I didn't act on it right away. Mm -hmm. But then I did six months later when I was coming home from work. And I just had a really long day at work. And I figured, we're building someone else's dream. Let's build my own and me and my husband talked about it and that's when we sat down and came up with the M3 Prime Productions and we started writing scripts is um, what we've been doing, working on our latest projects, actually two of them. Um, and then we was like, let's just go forward with the company. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. a big step. Yeah, it that's is. a big step. A different step, especially when you're not really used to it. You don't have too many people around you doing it, you know. Mm -hmm. So we just decided to take that leap of faith and here we are and we're, we're going. We're making our way. I hear we. You said you're married. How did you meet? Uh, I know this isn't uh, entertainment tonight, but really quickly, <laughs> how did you meet? And how did you really decide this is it? This is M3 Prime Productions is where the entrepreneurial journey is gonna start. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> oh, okay, I love it. The cues, okay, the body language. Okay, um, well, you get it, you get it. Okay. Um, we high school sweethearts. Um, I was I was trying to get her in high school, mm -hmm. and she was taken. Okay. <laughs> and um, I was dating at the time as well. And when we graduated, um, I got accepted to Millsville University. And uh, some way, somehow, I thought, let me call this girl Rashira and let her know 
you know, I got accepted into this college and found her number in one of my old school books that I wrote on my paper. Uh, and mm. cut. The teacher's always wondering what people <laughs> are writing on the paper. Sometimes it's I not like the it. lesson. But I maybe it. it is the right, lesson. Right. Okay, the number was the lesson. So I opened the book <laughs> and I said, well, I hope it's the same number and gave it a call and it was definitely the same number. And to my surprise, she was attending Millersville at the same time. Mm -hmm. Wow. And I said, well, listen, I got accepted to come there to play basketball. I'm going to come, let me, I'm going to come up and visit next week. You know, I stay, I stay with you at your dorm, and, you there know, from right. there was history. Wow. <laughs> no, that, is, that is great. That is great. So you're now running this company. You have three children, which is you know, certainly a business in and of itself, mm -hmm. growing children and helping them be strong and healthy in America yes. today. Yeah. Um, so tell me about the project. You mentioned there's two. Yes. But what's, what's the sort of significant project that you're working on right now and why is it significant? Um, what's the hot one? The hot one is the, the second one we're doing. Okay. And our first one is Deep Undercover. Okay. Uh, that, that is one of the first projects we're working on now. We're actually in, currently filming it. So um, it's, it's, it's progressively got better. Okay. But as writers and directors, you know, we continue to grow. Yes. And as we continue to grow, we get better at what we do. And the second story is a story based on true events. And it's called More Than the Streets. Mm -hmm. um, and the tagline is some people just can't see past the block, mm -hmm. you know, and my my cousin uh, was arrested and he had a bright future to go to the NBA and um, he threw it all away because he was stuck in the streets and, you know, we really want to get the message out there to our young generation that it's more than just that out here, you mm -hmm. know, is is you got to see past that, you got to see past that. Uh, it's, you could go to college, you could be a doctor, you could be a professor. Those things are not long strides away. Mm -hmm. It's take progression and maturity to get there, mm -hmm. but you got to be willing to do that. Yes. So we show that through changes of events within a story. And it's true life's experience through my life, through my wife's life. Um, so it's really touchy, but it's a really passion project of ours uh, because it's really based around true events that we think help, help our generation. Mm. Yes. Very true. But you know what, I also think our, our project, our first project that we started is very important too because um, and help um, pave the way for where we're going to be going for our future. But um, not only, I feel like it's very important because a lot of people believe in us. We have over uh, like 90 cast members. I was going to ask. A lot of <laughs> That's a lot of we belief. Do. And then we <laughs> actually had also have um, managed to get um, bring aboard one of uh, he's a, he was a, a pro football player. Um, his name was Raheem Brock, and he. He played for the Colts. Yes. Mm -hmm. He won a Super Bowl in 2007, I believe it was, with Peyton okay. Manning. And um, he seen, you know, believed in it as well, and he decided to come on board. We have a lot of uh, great people behind us. My husband knows a lot of people so far in the industry, and um, you know, a lot of people have just been believing in us and having faith in us. We actually got an interview on. I'm not sure if you know Patty Jackson. She yes, does, um, absolutely. WDAS. Uh, yes. And I saw it on there. your Facebook page. Oh, <laughs> good friend of mine. Oh, just in the process. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. And we were, um, you know, and it's just just growing it and seeing mm -hmm. that people have faith and um, hope in us and. Um, even though we're young, they don't just see, oh, you're young, you have no experience. They right. see that we are doing good things and making um, great projects and making opportunities not only for just us but for them as well because it's very hard for them to get opportunity. They're against each other as well as the B, C, and A list actors, and it's mm -hmm. very difficult. Mm -hmm. Every day they have to go out there and work very hard. I know by being by my husband's side as an actor, it is very difficult. It's mm -hmm. so hard to get things, and you can be great today and then kind of go downhill the next day. So mm -hmm. we just just like let's do something that we can make um, you know change for everybody and I mean it's, it's, it's a uh, fictitious <laughs> story but it's a good line good storyline and um, I think once it comes out well a lot of people will like it well let's I'll I'll say freeze frame there mm -hmm. uh, not that I'm in the industry but I, I I'm gonna <laughs> pretend that that's correct <laughs> and why don't you say clearly and slowly the name of the project um, where people can find it, mm -hmm. um, and what the brief storyline is. All right, so it's Deep Undercover. Mm -hmm. You can find it on Facebook at uh, UndercoverSeries.com. Mm -hmm. So it's Facebook slash UndercoverSeries.com. 
Uh, you'll be able to find us there also on Instagram and Twitter at underscore deep undercover. Um, a little bit about the story is a police captain caught in a dangerous trance uh, and he's haunted by the murder of his son uh, mm -hmm. that came by a dangerous gang called the Perez Brothers within the city. Uh, and he's desperate to um, uncover this murder, but the Perez Brothers got their hands so tied into the justice system that every time he gets close, he loses the trail. Mm -hmm. And uh, his only option at this point is to go outside of the city and hire an undercover detective to be able to come in who has some street cred and get inducted into the gang. And his mm -hmm. main obstacle is trying to remain undetected as an officer while he try to bring down the empire. Wow. Oh, that sounds juicy. <laughs> it's very interesting. So people can follow you on Facebook? Yes. Can they see webisodes on Facebook? They can what's, follow what's us on the, Facebook. What's the process? Well, we actually just transitioned it from episodic to a movie. So we mm. compressed a lot of information. But what we're going to do is once we get everything together, we're actually working on um, pitching it now, actually, and then getting some distribution and trying to put it on different platforms. We're not quite sure which one specifically yet. But uh, once we get done, we'll have a premiere, which we're hoping to have towards the end of the year. <laughs> <laughs> we're hoping. Okay. But if not, you know, time is time. So whenever we do, we will put it up on our Facebook. So you can also follow through our Facebook, our Instagram, and Twitter for more information about what's going on up and coming project as well as our current projects. Excellent, excellent. Well, that's significant. Yeah. That's significant. Yes. Mark, you mentioned earlier that a lot of your passion um, is around helping others. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit more about that because we've got maybe two minutes left, yeah. and I really want folks to have a sense of that. Yeah, um, I really, I really believe in helping other people. Uh, before I was in in this position and I was acting, um, acting can become very selfish. And because every job is like, it's my job. I'm going, I got to book that. I got to get this. And you're so pressed and thinking of just about yourself that you forget about, it's not consciously you forget about other people, but it just happens because you're just in your own zone mm -hmm. and trying to make path for your own career. And as I took the step back to be a director, to uh, look at things, um, it's roles I turned down in my own projects that said I want to give another person the opportunity to be able to do that. Wow. Um, because I've been where they're at. Mm -hmm. I've been rejected. I've been at the point where somebody says no, and I know I have the, capa uh, the capacity to be able to do it, the capability to be able to be that talented, to pull it off, and so many people get overlooked. Mm -hmm. And I said, I will not have it that way as long mm -hmm. as God has me on earth. My mission is to help other people. And I feel like what you do in your life from the span that you are on this earth to the span that we leave is really what you could do for others, mm -hmm. more so than what you could do for yourself, because that's what's remembered by people. Yeah, yeah. so powerful. And Rashira, from a mother's perspective, mm -hmm. again, I go back now oh, that I know so the story, M3, Prime Productions, from a mother's perspective, sort of final words as, as in running this company and being a wife and having 90 <laughs> cast members, you're, you're like a mom triple. But you know what? <laughs> you have to think about the positive. I actually had just graduated from college, um, and when I was going through my process, it's hard, it's difficult, but you have to look at it like there is more um, and that there is better things and great opportunities than you think there are. Sometimes we doubt ourselves because we have a lot of negativity in our environment. So by keeping positive and being around positive people that are very encouraging can really help you. Uh, my husband, in that fact, I have somebody that helps me, mm -hmm. you know, through my times when I'm down or up through that time. So I have him helping me. And of course, since I'm the mother and all that, it's a lot <laughs> on me, so I need someone to help. But just that positive um, attitude and that great encouragement is, is very important. I can't take all that. She helped me so. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I love it. I love it. Uh, showing the love all the way around. Mm -hmm. Well, tell folks once again where they can find you on the web mm -hmm. and uh, say the name of your company again so they right. know. So you can find us on the web at um, Facebook dot com forward slash undercover series and you can find us on Instagram and Twitter at underscore deep undercover and the name of our company is M3 Prime Productions and we are the founders of it. And husband and wife. <laughs> yes, Wonderful. Are. Thank you. Feeling the love. Significant TV. Significant stories. Significant entrepreneurs. In plural. In live and living color. Mm. And this color happens to be black. How cool is that?